back out. Didn't think it was recording there. Achieve it again. Uh, knackered. That little walk from the car park over here. It kills you. That's uh, that's that done though. It's a bit of a break for now. It's kind of on the the level for a bit. Yeah, didn't go out last week. Well, I did. Me and Rob are going to go out over the lakes. Drove all the way over Saturday. The weather was terrible on Saturday. Thick cloud, couldn't see, couldn't see a hand in front of your face. The rain hammering down. So we made an executive decision and went to Bowness on Windermere. The video of that is on my van channel. Just a little tour around. Nice place. We didn't go for tourism. We went on the lash. Proper night out. <laughs> yeah, that was good. It's a shame we didn't get the camp done, but ah, the conditions were awful. It was just a waste of time. Absolute thick cloud piece, we couldn't see a thing. And then, of course, Sunday morning, it was beautiful. Skies, blue skies, bright, hot sunshine, unreal. Weather's playing tricks, it's playing games. All right, I'm just passing these crags and then I'm gonna push on. Don't know if I'll reach my objective or I'll try. I can always come back. Not feeling too fit. Haven't really done any big walks. Coming at the top of there a while back. And up over there and on top of there. All right. So we'll keep going. The rain's just starting now. Can I believe it? There's no forecast for rain. Now it's raining. The weather forecast, man, it's just all over the place. Doesn't know what they're doing. That's the MWIS as well. It's all over. Said it's meant to be sunny intervals, no rain, cold, but I don't mind the cold. But look at the cloud, and now it's raining. So, couldn't be any bloody more wrong. MWIS. Before anybody says out, that's who, that's who I checked, that's who said there was no rain. <laughs> oh dear, things we do. Yeah. I'm still in it. Through the bog of doom we go. With a hidey high and a hoody ho. Hey, hey. Oh, I could cheer myself up. Nightmare, this stuff. You stand on it, oh, and it's about six foot deep. Got gaiters on though. And seal skin socks. Gore-Tex boots. Shouldn't get wet feet here, like. I've got spare socks in my backpack as well simply because I know this path yeah so the objective is and I don't think I'll be turning back now your hedge hope this is the worst bit this is going to take his ages to get up here Let's go up a little bit stop up a little bit stop 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 loads of stops this is just steep man it doesn't look it from here but it is it's a killer but on the top nice and flat and there's not meant to be any wind tonight. Not to speak of like 10 miles an hour maximum. No big gusts. So I've brought the uh, the Lorry 2 tent, the top, the um, tent pole, the walking pole tent. Can't even think, man. I can't even think. Don't know what I'm on about. I'm crazed. I've got bog fever off this. I right, saw so anyway the walking pole tent. So loads of space, and we'll see what it's like. Shouldn't be too windy up there. We'll see in that, it's a little breezy down here, like. But the forecast is for light winds. Let's test the forecast again. Oh, 
halfway up, about, oh, it's a killer, that's that path, the bog of doom, halfway up the hill, oh, there's a lot out there, hiking, don't know if he's here, uh, don't know if he's camping, if he's camping he's gone lightweight, Not easy with all this weight on your back, like. Oh. So we just gotta get, I don't know if you can see him. It's just on the crest there. Gotta get there, and then there's, that's like a false summit. There's a little bit more after that, and then that's the top. It's not too far. Like I say, it's about halfway. Come on then. Keep going. Gonna get overtaken again, but I don't care. They've just got day packs on. I'm not rushing up here. You kill yourself. Here we are then, at the top of the hedgehog killer. The last bit. Come up there. It's been hail showers. Look at that. It hit us. Just now there was two lads here. As soon as they sat down, the rain started. Well, the hail, hailstones pitched here, flat bit, come here, I get a little rock to bang my pegs in, the ground's terrible. Hedgehop, second highest mountain in the Cheviot, second to the Cheviot, which is over there. So it's a bit chilly, cold enough for snow, I reckon, I can imagine it. I can't imagine it. It's banging the pegs in. Oh dear. Dice if you. Be careful where you put your feet on this rocks. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So the weather seems to have passed. Just waiting for the wind to drop. It's not strong wind. Just a little bit breezy, that's all. This tent will be alright in that. There's nothing wild focus. Look at that over there. <laughs> that's just passed right over the top of us. Whew! Wist looks lorry too. It's back. It's back in anger. What a place to test it. Second highest mountain in Northumberland. The rocks. Um, the pegs won't go in properly. The ground's terrible. It's solid. Danny, if I bang them in, like, 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 like. Ah, they're going in there now. So that's the trick. Just get a friendly rock and give them a knock. Don't get a shock if you thingy thingy sock. Filthy minds. Filthy, filthy minds. Right, I'm gonna keep doing this, get this nice and secure, and then we'll come back inside because it's freezing. In for a cold on the night, like here in the in the tent of much mess. Really, a lot of mess. So I've got tonight, oh, I've got chicken tikka masala, spice tailor, all the sauces and that, all the raw ingredients are in there. Got the fire maple cook set, bag for the electricals, keep that dry. The big gloves, because well, it's cold tonight, like chilly. Fuel for the stove, cooking stuff. Probably like 15 pound salt. Got the foil mat down, which I really still haven't bought a new one. I will. This is my new sleep mat. I've roughly just shoved it in that bag there, but people who gave us the tent supplied this. Now that's on about like that thermal rest mat kept going down. I could do with a new mat. So a kindly sent us this light tour. 
light to her. So it comes rolled up in its own pump sack. There you go. And this is the silver one, the silver version of the mat. Sure, I mean, it's very difficult to do things with one hand. You see the silver side? Silver version here is a R rating of 5.6. It's claimed 5.6. So this is the side. I think it's the side you have up. Right? Light tour. From Campbellists, I'll put the links in the description as usual. I'll blow it up. I'm going to need two hands for that. I blow it up with the bag, and I'll bring it back show you what it's like. See how small it was though, see how tiny it was, compact. You've got to like fold it in, in like that, and then in again, and the same repeat, and then roll it nice and tight, and use the elastic band. I've had it, I had it blown up in the house, and it uh, felt nice and comfortable. We'll find out tonight. We'll also find out if it's warm, because it's really, really cold. My fingers are Blocks of ice, blocks of ice already. I'm gonna get me uh, my little stove on and warm my hands up. I've got my jacket, I'm gonna talk about that later. I got my green bag tonight because the forecast is just ridiculously cold. So yeah, I'll get this mat up and we'll come back. Look at the size of it. Huge. You've got you've got quite a big gap at the end, so that's probably gonna fit in most tents out. It's not too long, you know. Some of some of these mats come out and they're far too long. The ones with the pillows at the top are normally them ones. But it's got these baffles. I got all the uh, look at the work one shit that's gone into that. That's good that way. Alright. So it's green on the other side. There's a blue one as well, which is a lower R rating, 3.6 or something. That's the summer mat. But this is the 5.6 winter mat. I'm presuming you use it that way up, because it's got the name there. I don't know. The mask didn't find out. I'll just use it like... But it's really comfortable, like. It's quite thick. It's quite a good thickness. What's that? Two inches. Got two and a half inches thickness there, matron. It took about six full bags to pump it up and then I just finished it off myself with my me mouth. Matron. Stop it. Yeah, feels alright, feels nice. So light tour by Campbellists. Item description will be in the link. And I think it's it's only cheap, you know, it's only about 70 quid, something like that. And if it's good, if it's a 5.6 R rating mat for 70 quid. And look at the size of it. Rectangular. Good size, like. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you in the morning how it was. It feels nice and comfortable now, like side sleeper like me. Yeah. Good. Obviously I'll have a pillow. But it's good. I just don't hope it doesn't pop. <laughs> That's what I'm like. I'm just keep breaking them. Like break mats for fun, me. Eh? See how long this one lasts, eh? Oh, it's cold. Standing out here, 5.4 minus minus 5.4 wind chill. Only 10 mile an hour wind. Scenery. Ugh. It's cold, 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 cold. And we are pitched here. The wind's just hitting that. I mean, it's good. It's not a, um, it's not a battle tent, you know. It's all right though. I could put the put that out a bit better. I think it's because it's not even ground. It's just Bit of a rotten pitch to be fair, like look at the mess in there. <laughs> what a state. 
Oh my god, it's freezing. Right, so that's it. That's my view. Ooh. It's a family up there. Good little kids coming up here, you know. Not an easy hill. Oh, I'm getting back in. I'm getting back in and I'm gonna get the kettle on for a cup of tea. Warm up a bit. Just be careful, because the heat is right up here. It's warm behind, it's lovely that. I made a nice cup of tea as well. I thought about the gas because I'm uh, I'm using the meths for the main meal. But, oh god, that is lovely, lovely and lovely. It's warm. This whole porch area now is nice and warm. Just be really careful about your fly sheet. I mean, this is there's a big gap there. Like, there's no danger of that catching. But in a smaller tent, you know, you just got to be careful. Just watch it. Beware the carbon monoxide as well. And burning gas. Oh, that's nice. That's so much better. I can feel my hands again. I can function again. It's awful when your hands go on it. Your hands freeze up. You can't do anything. Let's have a look at the beers I've got. Uh, Heathen Northern Monk. Cannonball this. Faith in a new swanky um, cover. Another Northern Monk. Faith in Futures. Hook our back. And then good old Juicy Brucey. Good game. Good game. Yeah, what was it? I went, I went till minus 5.4, Christ. Minus 5.4. Anyway, my hands were like ice blocks. It's a bit daft, isn't it? Standing out there. <laughs> oh, it is nice, that though. Right, I'm gonna brew my tea. Anybody else like to put the milk in when the milk when the tea bag's still in? Because if you do, you've committed a, a major crime, a heinous crime, and you must be punished. Always take the tea bag out, nice strong tea, and you put the milk in sugar if you need it. Never ever put milk onto a tea bag, otherwise you'll get that. That. Look at that! Ah, anyway, enough, enough rubbish. Well, here I am. Just here. Bored. <laughs> it's freezing. Right? I went out before there. It's really cold. It's mind-blowingly cold. Just on your face and your hands, like the rest of us is fine, but God, it's chilly. Anyway. Enough of that. It's just a, um, see, I'm off Instagram at the minute. I lost a good friend. He died uh, two weeks ago, a week, week and a half ago. Actually, I actually think it was two weeks ago now. And I went to his funeral yesterday. Oh, man, he was younger than me. He was only 54. And I used to, I used to work with him years ago, you know. Um, and we just kept in touch. After all, like I moved away, left the job I was in where we worked. I moved away to Hong Kong, went there, worked there for a while, and then when I came back, he got in touch, you know, and we stayed in touch. Ah oh, man, he's, he's dead. Life's short. Life's short. So I came off Facebook, uh, Instagram as like I couldn't, I couldn't be posting all these daft stories and. You know, I'll let me take and all the rest of it. I just thought, oh, I'll have a break from it. Plus, I think a, a break does you good. I'll go back on. I'll go back on in a in a bit. But for now, I'm off it. So there's no point. Well, if you want to have a look, you can go and see me old stuff. But I'll not be posting anything new for a while. So yeah, that was it. Just to, just that's why I'm off. If anybody's bothered, <laughs> wondering why I'm not on there, why I'm not posting. <laughs> But don't forget my other van channel on the YouTube, Andy's Camper Van. Go and have a look at that. Trying to get that over a thousand subs. It's getting there, like. I think I need a 60 more. So come on, subscribe. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow, if I've got the energy, 
when I come down off here, I'm gonna go to uh, a little village, I think, walk with an amble. Somebody, somebody mentioned that they'd like to see us go there and do a little wander around there, so I will. If it's not too busy, you know, I don't want to go if it's like dead crowded and busy. You feel a bit weird, don't you, filming when there's loads of people watching? But aye. So hopefully I can do that, and I'll, up that, I'll upload that to the van channel. That video, if I do, it might be up before this one, so go and have a look for it. But for now, I think it's nearly beer o'clock, like. No Craig Charles tonight, he's on holiday. Stuart McCorney sitting in. So I like Stuart McCorney. I think we've had this conversation before, he was in, he sat in last time for him, didn't he? So I'm gonna get on that. Oh, I bought this. I bought this for me, um, for me cook set. It's a... I bought this. <laughs> I've got to turn right down. I've got to turn up and the flame come out here. <laughs> Mad. Good though. Turbo flame. Give me a pocket, keep it warm. Right, that's it. We'll come back when I'm cooking my tea because I'm gonna have a little little break now. Drink, have a drink, and a little five. Relax a bit. I've got the the uh, flame on. There we go. Oh wait a minute! I'll just turn this off because that'll be oh that'll be copyrighted. Got a shout out off him. Hey, hey. he's intrigued to see me cooking. So yeah, flame on. And then just sit it there and let that heat up. Bit of fry light, because I'm on a diet. Because I'm too fat. That's it really. I'm just going to position this here, if we can. Yeah, that's all right. The chicken's going to go in first. Don't put raw meat on cooked food. It's all right, raw vegetables on the cooked chicken, but not the other way around. Just remember that, otherwise you'll die. Or you'll get the extreme screaming abdabs. The 15 pound salt from the Camargue region of France. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm posh like. I am posh. Everybody thought that was a joke. Go and have a look on, on the internet. Go and have a look how much Camargue salt is. Camargue. C A. M A R G U E Camargue region sea salt. If you don't believe us, I put a bit of pepper in it, you know. But so here we go. We've got the uh, the base sauce in and all the spices. It actually smells like chicken tikka. I'm just letting that simmer away. Simmer rip. That was a song, wasn't it? Next thing is to put that in. That's the sauce. That's what gives it all the body. Oh, keep that off the... Keep your sharp knives away from your footprints. God. That was close. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna... Let this simmer through. And reduce the mushrooms and all that. Now we'll put the sauce in. And then we'll throw the, throw the rice in. It's just, um, it's just plain basmati. Uncle Bensky beat British gas prices are far too high. Um, Cotton Eye Joe, where did you come from, where did you go? I will always love you, Whitney Houston was one of my best friends. Can't believe she took her own life in the bath. Right, I'm gonna just let this cook through. Send a photograph to Stuart McCorney and we'll come back when it's bubbling. Well, um, the simmering is done. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't get that bloody thing off. <clears throat> Moist. Moist. Nice chicken tikka masala with basmati rice. It hasn't stuck. It hasn't stuck the bottom of the pan either, which is a brucey bonus. It's been in there for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes maybe even. Right, I'm gonna have a little, little spoonful, right? So, 
Oh man. Oh, a bit of chicken. A bit of chicken. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is a tasty masala. Lovely that. And that. Look at that man. Just so chilled out, just cooking away. No noise. Should have had one of these years ago. Absolutely brilliant. That's it. So, very nice. I'm gonna have that off camera, because you know. Um, and I'll put the radio back on and listen to the music and just chill out. It's brilliant. What a good night. The only problem is, over there, the army is on, um, they're on overdrive. And then the Otterburn Rangers, they're firing all the howitzers, right racket going on. <coughs> Loads of flares going up and it's like World War Three's broken out over there. But you know, it's just exercises, they're probably not off soon. I think they, I think they stopped about nine o'clock, I think that's what they're meant to do for the residents of the villages now, like you know. Right, so another, open another beer. Ah, it's good. I'm enjoying this. Freezing cold, but really nice, cozy. Very cozy. This tent's great, this porch is huge. And there's another one behind us, another porch behind us. It is a good tent, like. And just as a matter of interest, um, the said Wizlux are doing an upgraded one with more waterproof. Even though this was in a real rain rainstorm last time I used it and it didn't leak. But they're going to do a more waterproof one and the four season inner. So they're going to upgrade it and then send it out to us again to try that one out. So look forward to that. I mean, I don't think I've pegged it properly here. I think I've got that, that peg in the middle there, down there. Is not right it should be over this way a bit so that's why this door's sagging so that's me I'll, I'll move that across later and I'll get that tightened up but the rest of the tent's fine it's good so how they're going to improve on this I'm intrigued right well I've had me um, I've had me gruel and I'm on another another beer now. So I tell you what, it's not been a bad night. Like like I say, I've said many times, it's very chilly. There's ice forming on the inside of the tent now. So that's when you know it's bad. The blinking army is kicking off again. They better knock that off. I'm gonna go over there. I'll go over there. And I'll see you. Army! Knock it off! With your tanks and your bombs and your guns. Oh. It's your hands. I'm, I need hand warmers. Anybody recommend any decent hand warmers? Because my hands are the ones that's cold. You can't kind of function, can you, when your hands are cold? You can't do anything. I could actually put the big gloves on. Put the big gloves on. My big bungle hands. Problem is with these, you kind of do you know, can you? They literally are bungle hands. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, yes, yeah, so, um, radio's still on. Stuart McCorney had two shout outs. Very good. Um, I think I've got, I've got three beers left and a tiny little bottle of wine. Dead, dead handy these like if you if you like your wine look at that it's a little miniature bottle is it a miniature bottle right or have I got giant hands massive hands and it's a full size bottle yeah, it's, a, it's a miniature bottle um what else what else what else can we talk about I think that's it really that's it I'm done there's loads of stars out it's a really starry starry night I'm not sure if I'm going to put the camera out though. 
I might. I'll have to check how much power I've got left in the um, power bank here. And I might put it out. Do a, not the, not the star trail. I think you're probably bored with that, but the star laps. Let's see if I can do that. Now we're going to try this mat out tonight. See how that performs. It's nice and comfy. I've been lying on it before. It's nice and comfortable. I like it. It just doesn't. My problem is I, like, I get comfortable mats, but I break them. Keep puncturing them. Like the seat is some Ethylite XT, right? Really expensive mat. Got a hole in it. Um, the Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light. What have I done? Three times I've, punk I've got a hole in that. Three times. I've got one. I've got one now. The centre replacement. I've never even taken it out of the box. So if anybody wants to take a chance on that, just make us an offer. Make us an offer, I can't refuse for it. It's up for sale. I've never even taken it out of the box. The scented, Thermarest scented, which is brilliant, brilliant service. I mean, they just, they keep sending you new ones, you know what I mean? But it's no good if it's not gonna work. Maybe I'm just too rough, I don't know. But if anybody wants a Neo Air Uber Light, which I think retails for about 180 to 200 quid. Just drop us a line in the, um, the email address in the description. Make your offer. Be sensible though. I did actually pay for it originally, so you know I want to I want to reclaim some money back on it. Um, so yeah, that's it. If there's a star lapse in this video. You'll know it was a success. You'll know it was a success. You'll know it was a success. If there's no star laps, you'll know that I couldn't be asked. All the clouds come over. There's a big full moon. They're called the snow moon. Not big full moon tonight. The snow moon. No idea why. Right. That's enough waffling. Oh yeah, uh, moose, moose. I'll see it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Boosh. That's it. Morning, folks. Morning, folks. What does that mean? That's the summit. I'm not quite sure. Summit. That's an old one as well, isn't it? Shut up, man. Mm, chilly and old night. Oh, the ice particles. Ted was fine. Oh, God, that's me. Man, there's not a breath of wind. How weird is this up at the top of here? I think the last time I camped up here, I was over there, and I recorded 70 miles an hour wind. It's just, this is one of the windiest places in Northumberland, this. On a bad day, like. And there's not a breath, so that's good. No good in the summer, though. Midges. That's what we're gonna get in, isn't it? All this, all this summer. Oh, I'm not the midges. Oh, what's a bit to complain about? Oh, anyway, what I'm going to do next is have a cup of tea, a nice cup of tea, pack that away, pack all that stuff away, and then I'm going to head down there, down the hill. I think it's about two miles back, maybe two and a half. And then what we're looking at in the very far distance over there is where I'm going to head to. I'm not quite sure how far up we are. I think it's it's probably just straight over there where I'm going. Let's go and have a look at this. This looks spectacular over here, mate. You see the um, sun just shining off the water there in the background. Oh, look at this. Come in. Ah, oh, dear. 
absolutely fucking freezing there. Yeah. So I'm going over there. Oh, yeah, great. I'll get the cup of tea made. Warm us up a bit and then I can get on packing down. It's eight o'clock and a nice sleep. I did fall asleep about 10 o'clock maybe. So yeah, I had a good, good kip. Only got up once. Here we go then. Right, the tea is made. I ran out of water, Limonek. Drank all that last night. As for the mat, right? The light tour mat, very nice, comfortable, no cold spots coming through. Mind, you wouldn't expect that to be in this bag. But anyway, comfortable. I slept well on that. Side sleeper like me. No painful hips this morning. So, up to now, after the first use, right, I will use it more, as I do. It's a thumbs up from me. I could use it other, you could use the other side as well. Maybe you are meant to use the other side. I don't know. I think the silver keeps the, the silver stops the um, cold air coming through. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and find out. But on the, um, on the picture, on the website, the silver side was face up. So we'll find out. But as for now, I'm gonna just drink this tea now. I've got a beer left. See, I don't always drink all that beer. I mean, it's cold. I just ran out of uh, be botheredness. That one's full as well. Two cans left. Why, what's happening to us? Yeah, it got too cold last night. I just went to bed. So, right, have this. We'll come back on the way out and we'll pack the tent up and we're ready to go. That was my patch. Look what's happened to the weather. <laughs> I've been enveloped by the cloud. <coughs> it's like the scene out of Dune now, isn't it? Again. Right. That's it. Leave it as you found it. I've took all my rubbish. We're heading off that way. So if you've enjoyed this video, you might want to consider giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's either way. It all helps the algorithm, whatever that is. Subscribe, unsubscribe, do what you want. It's a free country, freedom of speech. Say what you want in the comments. I don't care, I can take it. I try to reply to all the comments, but sometimes work gets in the way. So if I don't reply, I probably will eventually. I'm still replying to comments on videos from about three years ago. See them pop up. Uh, so, that's it. Don't forget the van channel and his camper van. Let's get it over 1,000 subscribers. Because that just started off as a joke, that like. And now it's turned into a, a quite a nice little. I like watching them back, you know, the little villages and I go to. Hopefully gonna get one done today. See what happens when I get back. Ah, oh, but now I'm heading into the abyss. It's a really steep, steep section coming up. This is what knocks your legs. When you go downhill on the steep bit, that's what does your, your front of your legs, your quads. So we'll put the camera away. We'll stop wangling on. And we'll get on with it, right? And we'll see you on the next one. Whenever, wherever. As Kenny Rogers once wrote, all around the world, I lay my hat. Just as a PS, how steep this is, man. Look at it. It's ridiculous. What am I doing? Now the weather's cheered up again. Just one last look at the countryside views before I head off down there. I've already slipped on my arse. This grass here with the ice covering on it, lethal. Luckily, 
bag broke my fall. Otherwise I would have had a cracked arse. Two cracks in my arse. That's nasty, isn't it? Alright, that's it then. Catch you on the next one.